Okay, the next example. Determine if statement 3 follows logically from statements 1 and 2. If it does, state which law was used. So we're going to see, again, if uh, the third statement is valid or invalid based on these two true statements. So if an angle has a measure less than 90, then it is acute. If an angle has a measure less than 90, that's my P, then it is acute. This is Q, so my conditional is P to Q. If an angle is acute, well, it's not what this is right here. So here is Q. Then its supplement is obtuse. Its supplement, supplement is a num is um, an uh, angle measure that makes it uh, 180. So if you have two supplementary angles, then it's two angles that add up to 180. So a supplement of an angle would be um, the number, the angle measure that you'd have to add so that it would add up to 180. So then it's obtuse. So this is R. This is a new statement. So here we have Q to R, right? If an angle has a measure less than 90, here's my P, right? So here's P, all of this is P. Then its supplement is obtuse. This is R. So this, my third statement was P to R. Well, does that follow any rule, any law? P to Q is true, Q to R is true, then P to R is true, right? So. This is valid, and it's from the law of syllogism, okay? And the next example, if a figure is a rectangle, then its opposite sides are congruent. If I have a rectangle, Its opposite sides are congruent. Okay, so this is congruent to here, and this is congruent to here. AB is congruent to DC. So if I have A, B, C, D, AB is congruent to DC, and AD is congruent to BC. So a uh, figure is a rectangle, there is my P, then its opposite sides are congruent, so there's Q. AB is congruent to DC, and AD, or AB is congruent to DC, and AD is congruent to BC. Okay. Um, here is uh, Q, right? because it says if opposite, the opposite sides are congruent, A, B, C, D is a rectangle. This is P. Let me use a different color for that one. This is P. So statements one and two is P to Q, and statement two is Q. Then my third statement is P. Can you use these two to conclude, make this conclusion that P is true? No, right? So this is invalid. This statement right here is invalid. Okay, law of detachment says P to Q is true and P has to be true. Then Q is true, not the other way around, okay? So this one is invalid. Make sure that this uh, second statement has to be P. And then this, your conclusion is going to be Q, okay? Okay, well that's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching.